The first king tides of the season arrived over the weekend, and today was the last day of the really big tides at 7.4 feet. News A's Sean Stiles has more on what they look like and when they will return in this Earth 8 report. If you haven't heard about the king tides I've been talking about all weekend, today is the peak. We sent photographers up and down the coastline and ran into some here at Wind and Sea. I love to see the curl of the wave and the action and then the, how big it gets up against the surf or the rocks. So yeah, it's been fun. We ran into Kathy Lear and CJ photographing the king tide at Wind and Sea. They started their morning in Ocean Beach. We got to Ocean Beach at around quarter till nine to try to catch the high of the king's tide, I guess. It was at 8.50 this morning. And uh, there probably were over 200 surfers there this morning. The king tide was showing best at the pier. It was coming all the way up to the seawall, almost crashing over on the left-hand side of the pier. So it was pretty impressive. For CJ, everything came together. Unusual, right? So only happens twice a year. Make the most of it. Up the coast, Bruce Patch was at Cardiff by the sea and spoke to some folks. It's super high and it's actually fun because there's some more like little waves that come in when the tide's like this, so. And down south in Imperial Beach, it was uneventful as well. Here's what causes a king tide. The moon's orbit around the Earth creates pool on the ocean, but the orbit is not a perfect circle. It's elliptical. So at some point, the moon is closer to the Earth. Now add to that the alignment of the sun and moon together, and you get a king tide. So if you've missed the king tides this time around, not to worry, there's another set of them coming in December 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. We'll send it back to you in the studio.